Well, chums, it's the final day of turning. And as you can see here, I'm with Spotted Badger right now. And Spotted Badger has given me loads of stuff. Look at all this freaking sack venom. Okay, well, they've, they've been busy with the quest. Albion pearls I don't need. Yes, try not to give me things I don't need. Because um, I don't want you to fill up my inventory with this sort of stuff. I'll give those back to Spotted Badger. No, thank you. I don't need them. They're not part of the quest. They're not part of the quest. Thank you. Cool, yeah. I would invite him to my group. But it says there that he's busy at the moment. So I can't really interact with him. Look. No, stop giving me Albion Pals. Okay, I'll give them back to him in a moment. Because that's just going to fill me up. I don't want to just ditch them. Oh, he's giving me loads. Now, I could sell them. But there's no Galactic Trade Terminals anywhere near me. Oh, he's giving me a companion egg as well. There we go. I'll invite him to group now. Hopefully he'll be able to hear me in a moment. So if I go into options, network, and if I change that, text-to-speech, voice chat enabled, hopefully he'll be able to hear me. Hello there, Spotted Badger. Spotted Badger, thank you very much for handing in so much freaking stuff. Awesome job, mate. I do not need the Albion Pearls. Do you want them back so you can sell them and get yourself a load of units? Because at the moment they're just going to take up space on me when people are handing stuff in. Uh, well, yeah, okay then. Okay, here you go, buddy. I'll give those back to you. I see Captain Cynical lost all his space and all his goodies. Yeah, that was a fun time, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> uh, whoever got him had the same visage as what I've got on at the moment. So I think it might have been somebody from our crew. But they haven't put anything on Discord to claim that it was their kill. And um, it does look, did look a bit suspicious because there was a ship landed behind the person that killed Cynical. And of course, as you know, you shouldn't be flying ships. So um, I think it was a bit of a sneaky assassination, to be honest. Yeah, uh, well, all's fair in love and war. <laughs> I'm fairly sure there's going to be a couple of people that stretch the rules to their um, advantage. But, um, yeah, I'm trying my best to keep to the rules. I mean, I have kept to the rules totally, 100%. Um, yeah. There you go. I put all these sack venoms in. Oh, my God. You, you've got loads of sack venoms. And you've got these in the <laughs> wild by take, finding them, yeah? That's all I've been picking up, actually. Yeah. Well, I can see you've got a couple of treasures as well. That's awesome. Yeah. And you just gave me a creature egg, which is Tiamat. Is that a dragon, then? I have no idea what it is. I, it just appeared in my inventory. I thought, you can have that. <laughs> cool. Well, have you, you, you can pass it on to somebody. Have you got a winged flying creature? Oh, yes, yes. You have, OK. You gave, you, I think I was the first one for you to give to. Cool. Awesome. Is it ready to lay an egg? Uh, not yet, I don't think. No, none of mine are either. I've got two eggs, the one you just gave me and one other. Um, but yeah. I've, I've, got, yeah. I've got loads of stuff in my inventory. I don't know whether you want any of it. Uh, gold? No, the only things I really need is some shield modules or movement modules. Um, I'm slightly underpowered when it comes to shields. Well, that's about all I need. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't need any item other items then no no i'm okay for anything else it's just a uh, tech really um yeah oh. i've only got two boosted slots uncovered inside of my tech as well which um yeah i'm fairly sure i'm a bit of a glass cannon at the moment i, I think i could take a couple of people out but i don't think it's going to take much for them to take me out which would be a real shame well that that big long stick of yours you should be able to take out a few people <laughs> yeah i'm hoping so it's got the uh new chunk cannon in there so i'm pretty uh, adept with that one so on my uh, other saves so i've got uh, a similar one to that cool. um and it'll take out anything basically <laughs> lovely well what i'm thinking Good of doing too. is on monday is i'm gonna be yeah. we've got to have pvp on the whole time on monday and be in survival mode but yeah. I'm going to try and form like little mini pus posses, like little mini hunting or defence groups. And uh, yeah, yeah so if, if you want to join us on that, then I mean, it would be it would be helpful if everybody painted red. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yep, um, we, we're because gonna. I've got no idea who's who at the moment. No, I keep, yeah. I keep coming across somebody in a silver, um, mm. who keeps popping up now and again. But 
ominous really ominous is. guy yeah ominous something he's really cool uh, that's it yeah, he's yeah. a scottish chap he, he's actually really good um yeah. but yeah he's on our team but I, all i'm doing is looking at the nearby bases and going by the players that i see there but it doesn't always list the actual oh. persons that own I mean, the base you, you're, you're... Your base, I've been online since about 8 o'clock this morning, mm. and your base has been, just been totally disappeared altogether. Until I logged There's in. nothing there at all. Yeah. But yeah. This, this, is, now, this is what I'm worried about when it comes to light no fire. And oh. you know, Hello Game saying everybody's going to play together on the one planet, like we're doing right now as... You know, yep. this experiment was half to do with that as well, you know, just to sort of test bed stuff. And... There are little quirks just like that, Mr. Badger, that, that do have me slightly concerned. I was a little bit, let's say, concerned, annoyed, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. that the, you know, they, they seem to make the rules up as you go along. Um, but it's, you know, it's, a, it's a, a sort of a test game. Well, fair's fair, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, we've all been guinea pigs on this, you know. Um, Sadly, it's been an evolval. I think me and Cynical kind of got a little bit excited with the idea, jumped in, got Ricey on board, and um, Rice has been a godsend in trying to help us sort of like narrow down the rules and things like that. Otherwise, it would just I mean, be complete chaos if it was me and Cynical. What you three have got is a bloody good idea. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully by the time it comes around to its second iteration. Well, what we're thinking yeah. is... Wait till the No Man's Sky update comes out, which should be yeah. either tail end of this month, mid next month. Yeah. Do let everybody have the excitement of that, and then after it dips again, and we're seeing a bit of a lull, is do this yeah. again, do it again. We were going to do it on other planets in this system, but I'm thinking maybe we should just look for another really nice, lush planet, maybe one that's even got flying creatures on it already, yeah. like beetles or butterflies, yeah. and um, go from there. Um, yeah, let's we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> nice to speak to you. You too, Mr. Um, Badger. Yeah. And I'll I'll see you Monday probably. Cool, cool. Well, I've I've done a little recording. Do you mind being in a video? No, 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 not at all. Sweet, lovely. All this battle-hardened talk and talking of concerns and things. It's going to make a lovely video, I think. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'll All see right, you later then. Enjoy the rest Bye. of your weekend, and then well, it'll be carnage as of tomorrow. I can guarantee it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> See you later. See you later, mate. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, chums. Well, we've got E Slick that's just arrived at my base. At the moment, I can't invite him to my actual group because he's too busy giving me stuff. I'm getting loads of stuff from E Slick. Nice one. I do not need semiconductor stuff. I don't need a quad servo. E Slick, stop. Freaking stop, mate. I'm going to be binning half this stuff because today is the day of turning. I don't need stuff I haven't asked for. Oh, my days. My crew is awesome. They're giving me things that they think might be helpful to me. I don't know why they're giving me all this stuff. Okay, let's see if we can get get, get over to him. Islick, are you going to are you going to accept the implementation? Oh yes, yep. you have. Hello there, buddy. Can you yeah, hear me? Yeah. Yes, sir. I can. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, I just not so came bad. Came over to turn in my daily uh my daily haul. Cool. Well, you have been doing this daily. You've given me quite a lot of stuff so far. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Uh, but a lot of this I don't need. And at the moment, it's just going to sort of weigh me down. I've got nowhere to really put it. And with turn-in day, okay. I'm going to need the storage. Do you want some of this back, like the hardened frame and the quad servos? Yeah, whatever whatever you don't need, come on, give it on back. Sweet. Nice. That's a cool accent. Where are you from? Iowa. US. Sweet. Very cool. What's it like there today? You uh, missing out on the sunshine uh... for this? Well, right now it's uh, early in the morning, seven o'clock, but it's supposed to be nice and eighty degrees today. Oh, wow! Nice and warm, yeah. Yeah, Ivy's in the garden doing some gardening at the moment. It's a beautiful day here as well. But just nice, saying, nice. Yeah, it, it, you guys have put so much effort into this event. You know, if I have to sacrifice a weekend, it's it's what you got to do, isn't it? It's good fun though. I uh, saw so you oh, got yeah. a, you got a flying creature. I just saw it fly past. Was that one that I've given you, or, or Miyogi? Yep, Miyogi gave me one last night. I'm still waiting on it to, uh, to to hatch it. But yeah, that's that's one of the ones you gave me. The flying mount that I came in on. Cool. Awesome. I appreciate it. I surely do. 
I've only got Just two the, two eggs lot. on me. I was hoping to have more to give out to people that turn stuff in today, but it's good to see you've already got one. Uh, yeah. Cool. That's all right, because, yeah, my buddy, he's about to join in here in a little bit. He just uh, seen that I was playing this, and he's like, well, so what's the rules? I said, well, look up uh, Captain Steve and Professor Cynical. They have the rules on their uh, stream there. And, cool. yeah, come on down and start building, buddy. So he should be popping in here in a few minutes. Sweet. I mean, he's going to be greatly underpowered. But what I'm thinking is on Monday tomorrow, when we are to start this war, is perhaps form little groups. Hopefully you can join my group, but if you can't join my group, if it's already full, just I would suggest trying to get people in a group. Strength in numbers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've noticed. I've seen uh, Professor Cynical. He's on He's on planet right now, and he's on the hunt, I hear. He's yeah. been killed like... Uh, like two of our members and like three of the of the empire's members yeah he wants to sort of like um call our numbers before the actual event he's being a bit of an assassin i mean me and ricey and him have all got this wand which is slightly overpowered anyway i think that's a little bit uh -huh. it's a little bit naughty what he's doing but i think all it's doing is sort of um it's adding a bit of excitement to it a little bit of danger but right now, yeah. you know, if you're handing stuff in and you're in our territory, you can stay in normal mode. You can turn PvP off. So let him try. You know, can't kill someone that's right. immortal. You know, right? <laughs> yeah, so. I've seen his on his uh, recent video. He got killed. Yeah. So he had to he had to delete his whole whole base. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it might have been one of our team that got him because you know you've got the same visage as me. And I'd imagine other yeah. people that are part of the brew crew have also gone for this visage. And it was a, it was a guy with this visage that had a blue face. I don't know him. He hasn't oh. been in here to drop anything off. But what I would say no. is he arrived in a spaceship. He landed right by Cynical and then murdercated him, which is a bit naughty. You know, that that's against the rules. Right, right. But at the same time... It is a bit naughty. I, I've noticed that Cynical has got Max Shield, and I have no idea how he's meant to achieve that. So, you know... Well, um, I have been coming across the, the 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 pilot vendor that lands next to your base. Yeah, and I've gotten a couple of mods out of uh, you know a couple a couple of technology from him and stuff. So my want my my multi tool ain't too shabby right now. As far as shield though, I haven't found any uh, shield mods yet. Well, I was lucky. The first vendor I come across sold me one one. So I've got one X class shield module, but that's all I've got. I'm hoping to see uh -oh. the trade vendor land today, but um, sometimes when he does, he lands on my ship, and then I can't interact with him. I keep getting in and out of my ship, and I'm, by the time I've moved my ship, he's already taken off. Oh, yeah, yeah that's kind of uh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> it kind of does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh oh, hold on. I see Professor Cynical is only eight hours away now. He was thirteen hours away. So he's on his way here, is he? He looks like he's getting closer to to our kingdom over here. Well, you've handed your stuff in, so you know that's that's all good. I, I'm in I'm in normal mode right now, and I've got my PVP off because it's the last day of turning. Really, he he shouldn't be going. He should be doing what we're doing right now, standing in his base and taking everything that his crew has got. Right, I, he he lost everything, so he should be collecting stuff instead of trying to kill people. Exactly. But anyway, just stick PvP off, stay in normal mode. Today is the last day of the quest, quest one. So we're not doing battle officially until tomorrow, which is a bit a bit annoying if he does manage to kill some of my actual army before the day is out, which is bang out of order right. in my opinion. But that, if that's how he wants to play, that's how he wants to play. Well, if he comes a-knocking over here, I'm going to put him down. Oh, I hope you freaking do. Yep, I'll be doing some air grabs if you do, mate, and a little dance. Yep. Right on. Cool. Well, um, I, I've, I've done, been doing little recordings of people that have visited today. Do you mind if I use this bit of footage inside of the video? No, go ahead. Sweet. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for turning in. Thank you very much for all your participation in this event. But hopefully I'll see you again in the next few days before we meet our demise or win. We're going to win. I hope We're so. We're going to take it all. Brick heck, yes. Yeah, that's the attitude, isn't it? Yeah. Nice one, soldier. Yes, sir. Salute a Mondo. Right. <laughs> cool. All right. Get out there. Nice one. Thank you, buddy. See you Thank later. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye.
I am enjoying this, people. I am enjoying meeting the members of the brew crew, firing them up with a little bit of a morale pep talk. Heck yeah. And um, getting all my stuff turned in. I mean, Eastlick has been handing me stuff on a day-to-day -day basis, as you heard there. And um, yeah, I would say my crew has done a fantastic uh, job. He was just on a video call with me on... Um, on, on Facebook, but yeah, he's, he's uh, gonna he's well, gonna head over in game in a second. He'll be here in a moment, hopefully. Oh, hopefully, and I say thank you for um, his his wonderful gifts yesterday. Superb stuff. Sweet, awesome. Well, hopefully, he'll be Hello. able to come over and help me out in a bit as well. Well, I've got some gear for you if you want my to. Use dragon. Hold on. Let me just use my dragon. I'll come to you. Um, I mean, Cynical can't kill me anyway, because I'm, I'm in the right game mode for today, because people are handing stuff in. I just say I came to you to get stuff. All right, here we go. Let's uh, call in my pigeon. Yeah. Um, so where's Cynical now? I've lost sight of him. He'll be milling around somewhere. Give me a second. There is an upstairs to this place, by the way. I can see Pinion. Pinion's down by my base right now. I better get back down there, really, and go see him but yeah thank you for all this stuff mate awesome one one quick thing just before you um pop off yeah i want you to check this out because um i really do want you to be the last man standing got you yes i do you're the leader of my faction and as such you should claim the honor so do you follow me through here yeah to this little puppy. Zoom. Okay. Hey, Steve. Whoa. Oh, hello, uh, Eastley. Sorry to pop in. Uh, just to give you a heads up, Professor Cynical is headed your way. He just tried to attack me. I was in, I turned my PvP off, but he is headed your direction. Okay. Well, All right. Look forward to seeing him soon. Would you, would, would you like to, uh, would you like me to join up on you and uh, destroy this man? We could do. We could all just team up and gank him, I suppose, couldn't we? We could try. I mean, if the, if he does kill me, I can respawn, but you guys can't. He's taken advantage massively of the situation. I'm not, I'm not too worried about um, whether I get to respawn <laughs> or not. I don't know if he like, feels the same, but he's more than welcome to come here. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, well shall yeah, we get battle right ready? Above you. I he guess. Be right above you. He's shall we right head on out? Yeah, so, he's like right above you, Professor. Uh, 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 you know, he's actually looking for us, which is sweet as anything. I did try to um, group chat with him to, uh, to, to invite him over to see, okay. to see well, if he wanted to play a little. But I will, I will, I will turn my multiplayer, I'll turn my PvP on then. So um, let's do this. I'll, I'll put it into survive. Oh, I better put it into survival mode as well. Here we go. Just right, so he knows that we can see him. There we are. PvP, anyone. So I've got that on, on foot marker, anyone. Okay. And I've got it in survival mode. All right, well, let's go get him. All right. Okay. All right, I'm headed your direction. Whoa! <laughs> You're off already. Give me a second, young money, I catch up. Okay, okay. Let's get him. Where is All he? All right, let's have him. Where is he? It can only come in one entrance. Mm -hmm. now, I can't see, I see him at the moment. Yeah. It can only come in one way. Shall I invite Watch him this. to group? You can try, see if he joins. Okay, here we go. Let's um let's have a look. See networking. Uh, View nearby players list. Here. Invite to group. There we are. Let's uh let's see what he says. Uh, um I'm give him a wee second. Where are those bloody doors? Well, it's how do thing. there, Mr. Cynical, you sneaky sausage? I see that you've made it over to the 07 Brew Crew. Hey, Cynical, what are you doing? Hopefully he can hear us. I don't know whether he's got his mic to hand, but hopefully he can see the chat and stuff. So, if you want to declare war early, Mr. Cynical, um, I think it would only be fair that if you do take me out, I don't respawn. And I think if I take you out, you don't respawn. You know, apart from maybe to get screenshots of our treasure and loot, uh, if you've come all this way. Yeah. Oh, he's entered Zeppi Zeppi. Is this your building? Oh, there he is. There he is. Come on then, cynical old chat. Uh, I can get him Come through on, the wall. Come on, bring yourself. I can get him through the wall with this one. 
So I know how to teach him. Where'd he go? Well, I'm still hitting him through the wall. <laughs> Take that, cynical! Can I bring my big toy out to play? Did I get him? Is he dead? Yeah, it says dead. Anonymous yeah, combat dead. dead. Got him. Ha. Well, that's that's. that's is he dead? Steve, you absolute legend. Is he dead? Or is he gone? Yes, he's dead. He respawned. Ha <laughs> ha. Respawned thirteen hours away. He's back at his base. <laughs> you got him. I, I didn't Steve, even. You got him. You're a legend, mate. You're an absolute legend. legend. I shot him through Steve, the wall. Got him. <laughs> 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 Come on, break oh dear, break that was pretty break. amazing. Oh, Yay! That's how you do it. Heck That's yeah. How you do it. All right, well, well Steve, yeah. have a present for you if you check out the roof. Oh sweet. I'm gonna get. Well, I'm surprised I got him with. Um, how you doing, he's like power. Oh look, no, no five. Awesome. This would be a place, perfect place to do a little victory dance. Yes. <laughs> I have to say, my heartbeat went up a couple of notches then, lads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm joining in that, Poppy. Hey, hey go ah, What a day! Absolute <laughs> day! Awesome, we got him. That'd teach him to come all this way to yeah. stir up trouble, wouldn't it? <laughs> he, he can probably still hear us, so, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, the only reason I could shoot through the walls is because I've got the neutron cannon. It's got a big blast radius. I didn't think it'd do too much damage. It was only hitting him for 600 damage each shot. So I'm surprised that only three shots was all I needed to take him out. Yeah. I'm actually struggling to find it. Ah, there we are. Yeah. Hey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, Steve, you're a legend, mate. An absolute legend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything he's got in that vault now? Or anything he collected, it now has to get burnt. I don't know yeah, whether it does or doesn't. Gone. I think it's just the base that he has to rebuild. But he puts down the base computer by his base and reclaims all the bits of it. So, well, that's it. I saw I his know. YouTube earlier, and he has to destroy all the treasure. Everything yep. has oh. to go. Oh, okay. Anything he's been yeah, given has, has now gone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So well, whatever he got, whatever he got given between the first time that he died and just now is all gone. Well, I did change it into survival. I did exactly what I should have done before I engaged in combat. I mean, to be honest, he should have waited for yeah, us to come was, out of the base, shouldn't he? I was at my watchtower just watching him. He kept getting closer and closer, and he came up to my base. He tried to kill me, and I was in. I had my uh. Mm -hmm. I was at my base, so I had my PvP turned off because I was building and watching him. Yeah. And yeah, he came up and uh, tried to I kill to... me. Okay. I have to be honest, Steve. Yeah. As our leader, you're an absolute legend. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, uh, guys. For all the work you said. So, guys, on that demise of Cynical, we have come to an agreement with Ricey's approval that Cynical is allowed to respawn, but he's got to stick to his own region for the rest of today. And Handin is going to be peaceful without any worry of Cynical darkening our skies. And it, and it does, if it doesn't stick to those rules, and it kills it. Hello, Miyagi, so these pets that you're bringing into the verse, how are you yes, going about sir. doing it exactly? Right, well, what I'm using is, as uh, yes, you know, as people may know or may not know, well, I, I would care to create, that's a system No Man's Sky, the creature builder on the PC, which is freely available to everyone. You have to have a PC. You have to add the save editor, and you have to have, and then convert them over. Because you, you said to me, I may not have been the first creature builder uh, that three years ago, but I was one of the originals. Yeah. And what we did was use our spreadsheets to create creatures. Cool. And other people have said, well, we can do that with coding. Of course you can. It'll take you weeks. Yeah. If you want to do it for weeks, then do it, do it for weeks. I've had many skeptics. Well, the original creature builders, and I'll tell you this now, and you people can do it, are Wireless Dreams, ST, Throttle Jockey, mm -hmm. uh, one other gentleman that will remain nameless because he doesn't want to be named, and the other, other person is Mercenary, who modified some of the pets that we did. Cool. And those are, the, those are the only people, and if it's a Miyogi pet, it defers to a lush biome, a grassy, 
Veridant, Tropical, or that ilk, you will know it's a building of your pet because that pet will default to that. Very easy to hatch. Only on that. And Precisely in this event. Because, yeah. yeah, because majority of planets are verdant, grassy, temperate. There's normally one in every system. That's why I deferred rather than the volcanic one. I should yeah. be going around, or a dead world. You'd be going around for hours trying to find a uh, one. There is a certain logic in my madness. Nice one. And as far you know, so... so so, yeah, right, ahead, so right now, you're actually calling in the pets, one by one. I am. Feeding yes. them with creature pellets. Yes. yes. Making sure they're happy so they would lay an egg, right? Yes. And yeah. You're, and you're then, got to, yeah. I've, al I've already tested them on the... Because you have to test each one of them on my uh, console character before the, uh, whether they'll work or not. So you have to cool. test them with it. Because I did create other creatures, but the crashing, I created a rabbit. I created a turkey. I created other things, but they kept crashing. No, so I can't do. risk them, you know. No. So I, I've got um, I've got one creature which is spectacular, which is called a skeleton rider, and no. that has five of the bone cats merged into one. Well, I have a message from Cynical. I'll stop recording. I'll play the message. Skeletons. One of those skeletons. Oh, skeletons. Yeah, yeah, of course. The skeletons. Sorry, I, mean, so the next I would like you one of now. Please. You can have one now. I, I'll, I can't I'll take it to the next event with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can have it for this event if you want. It's ready. It's ready to go. I've, done, I've done all the travelling I need to do, and I did the... the well, I didn't do the task. My well, we're going to respawning tomorrow. You've got a chance tomorrow, so there is a silver lining to the respawning of Cynical. Well, why am I spawning? I know what happened. Tomorrow, when it's your tea break, you fancy going cynical, honey? Yeah, that sounds good to me. And then, when it's your lunch break, do you fancy going racy, We can do, yeah, it can be fun. Yeah, tomorrow's like last person standing type stuff, and it's until there is pretty much the last person standing. If, if, the, if I'm in, say, a group with you, though, I don't really feel like I'm going to be killing you off to take the mantle what i'd probably say is well you know we'll take the win for the faction and i'd knight you or something and then call you sir poison elvis from this point onwards <laughs> yeah that sort of thing i don't know yes yeah, so unfortunately i will not be around for that tomorrow i oh, go okay. back to work after holiday oh fair enough buddy but i will check in when i get off of uh work and uh it'll probably be about uh let's see That'll be around midnight your time. Oh, okay. Uh, well, hopefully so there's still some people about to murder Hopefully everything works out good for you. Yeah. And s crack on. All right, mate. Well, it's been nice speaking to you, and uh, I'm glad you've enjoyed the event. And, uh, yeah, take yeah, it was, easy, sir. Uh, aside from a few bad actors, it's been a great, great event, and I'm glad you guys organized it, and I look forward to you guys organizing a few more of these. Heck yeah, it's been good. I, I definitely want to do it again. I've got talking to a lot of yes. people that I don't normally talk to, so it's been lovely for me as well. It's been it has. Awesome. It's, it's actually, yeah, it's brought the community together because everybody plays. You go up on the anomaly at any given point, especially on the weekend missions, mm -hmm. and there's people up there doing missions, but not a lot of them other than yourself and your crew doing them together. And now you've got people on planet doing everything together and cooperating and building next to each other. Yeah. It's quite nice. Yeah, I mean, Hello Games have given us all these sandboxy tools. We might as well use them and role play it out a little bit. So, yeah. Absolutely. Thank so, you. brilliant job on you three. Well, thank you. I'll pass that message on to the other guys. In fact, I've just done a little recording of this. I'll slip it into one of my latest videos, if you don't mind. I do not. Of course. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Cheers. Have a good You bet. Bye bye. Good day, sir. So, bye -bye. people. Yeah, Poison Elvis just dropped me off a couple of modules as well and a little bit of glass. So, I've got that to give out to people. So, if you do come along, I have got a shed load of eggs from Miyogi. I've got shed loads of bits from other members of my um, faction to give out. And as you can see here, I've upgraded some of my tech. Now, the weird thing is, is I put this thing in to recharge my shields. This has insufficient power. I tried to connect a wire to my furnace, it doesn't have a wire for it. So these things are completely redundant now. Now, if I go out here, if I just jump up and, well, if I, I don't know, if I get my energy bar to appear, hold on, let me just fly up and then just drop. Right, look, see, I've got all those pluses underneath my health bar, but I have no idea how I'm supposed to restore my freaking health now. To me, Poison Elvis just gave me the uranium I needed to freaking fill, to put that thing on the wall. I don't know. 
I don't know, sometimes this game's a little bit janky at times, isn't it? But it's fun as fudge. But now I need to work out how to recharge my shields. I don't know whether just logging in and logging back out again is going to do that. I'll give it a go. There we are. I've done that. Um, I better re-upload my base. So I've had people say my base is no longer appearing. So I'm just going to re-upload that. Upload. I'm going to go and make my video now, but I've had quite a few visitors and I'm going to do a reload and see if I get my shields back. No, a reload still didn't give me my poxy shields back. So this is going to be a fun one, isn't it? I've got all these extra modules and they don't seem to be doing toppy for me. Um, odd. Yeah, it's not like I can use this like I just said because it says insufficient power all the time. Hold on one second. If I just go into creative mode just for a split second... Because that should allow my base to have power. Now can I use the dang thing? Yes, I can. Has that now done it? Let me just have a look. Let me just go back into normal. I'm only just trying to avoid the issues with it. You know, I'm only at my base picking stuff up. I just want to see if that's fixed it. So if people are wondering how to get their shields back for tomorrow, at least this mu Oh, it's only given... It's given me one. It's given me one back, not all of them back. Okay. So let's uh, let's just go into creative again for a second. Ah, get back. Let's try again. Okay, that's gone up one notch. Maybe I have to wait for a while before I can interact with it again. Hmm. There we are. Let's try again. There we are. So if you have got one of these back at your base, you might want to. The only way that you can power the dang things is to go into creative mode by the looks of things. Which is kind of outside of the rule remit. But if you've gone and built one of these, then you're going to want to use it for tomorrow's war, aren't you? So, you know, we've got to be in PvP as of tomorrow, though. So if you are to do this, maybe turn your networking off beforehand. Get your shields back up to full strength, people in my crew. Make sure you're ready for the oncoming war that's going to ensue. That's kind of annoying. Let's have a look and see if my theory is correct. I'm going to have to go into normal mode to do myself some damage. It's a shame. There must be a way to show your energy bars without having to go and do that. But um, let's have a look. There we go. I've got max shields now. I'm happy. Awesome. Well, I'm going to slap this back into normal mode at the moment because I'm still waiting for people to hand stuff in. My PvP is with no one at the moment, just for handing. Handing is going very well. Um, yeah, I haven't got many hours left, though, that I can do this for. So if you do need to get over to me, get over to me as soon as possible. I mean, this is Sunday that I'm making this video. By the time you see this video, it's probably already over. Right, well, how do there, chums? I'm just going to be signing out now. I mean, I'm still sitting in my base. I'm going to be there all day for people to hand stuff in. But at least now we know that Cynical has been limited to where he can travel to. Yes, his travel to the 07 Brew Crew resulted in his untimely death, which is quite funny, to be fair, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, I actually have a recording to play you from Cynical on what he has to say about his untimely death. There we go. Let's hit play. play. Fair play, Mr. Captain of the Steve. It's probably just been a bit of lag then on both ends. Obviously, you've seen the clip. From my perspective, you're still in your freaking base. But I mean, good shot with the with the cannon blast. I, I didn't even think of that. And yeah, my, my thingy wasn't even on. Um, my, my, my voice thing wasn't actually on. I was only actually coming around to see what you guys were doing. Next thing you know, you all turned yourselves on to... Uh, survival inside <laughs> blasting. Obviously, I didn't know that we were going to have a fight. I was literally, I was generally just coming over because I seen you put a message saying that you was just waiting in your base and going to like let people give items to you. So I was going to pop over. My idea was I was going to fill your inventory full of crap because I thought you was AFK. So then it would fill your inventory up so then you couldn't get any items. I was trying to be really sneaky. Really sneaky. Um, but yeah, it just turned out like, no worries, buddy. I'll take the L. Congratulations, sir. You assassinated me. Not a problem. Um, I'll respawn, obviously, so then we can just finish up the event, if you will. Obviously, tomorrow's PvP anyway. Um... So we can all have a fight properly tomorrow, and if you die, that's it. You're done. Um, but yeah, fair play, mate. Fair play. Well done. Got it. So there we go. I've also got a battle warrior cry from Cynical, um, which I'll play in a moment. But um, yeah, one sec. 
So chums, yeah, there's been a little bit of banter going backwards and forwards, and here's the next voice segment from the old cynical. I mean, let's be honest, I mean, the Empire, like Captain said, you know, all you've done is really explore some territory, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, your PvP is a bit crap, mate. I mean, how many of your Empire have I killed now? Quite a few, all documented. <laughs> bit embarrassing, isn't it? And uh, the O7 Seven Brew Crew having to, like, you know, isolate themselves so, so far away because they're scared of a little action. And you know what? Your PvP is still quite bad. Yeah, you've had to, you eventually, you know, killed me. But I mean, what? It took three of you and a neutron cannon to Just me, finally get rid of me from, like, you know, stalking your area. And how many of yours have I killed now? Two, three, four? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you two. Oh, I don't know. I think we might win this PvP event. Love this, man. I love this. So much fun. Love the taunts. <laughs> so, what stirred that up is I sent a voice note over. Okay, so here's mine. Play. Play! What has the Empire done exactly? I haven't, I haven't seen any exploits of the, of the Empire yet. The Empire. Shh, Empire. <laughs> yeah, what have you done? Claim the North Pole, the South Pole? You can, you can have them. Ah. <laughs> Sometimes I'm really enjoying this. It's great fun. We've actually um, captured Sentinel pillars. We've got control over the Sentinels over the planet. We can turn them off and on whenever we like. Yeah. So, but we we haven't boasted about that. We hadn't stuck flags all over them. You know, we we've just done it because because that's what the brew crew does. Um. And uh, Rice, you sent this over. Look. Someone's been having fun. <laughs> Well, at least Cynical's back in his box for a little bit, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah happy to respawn when we do it. Uh, PvP gets switched on tomorrow. Um, watch out for the Empire. Yes. And that's why I said, well, what's the Empire actually done other than claiming the North Poles? And he came back with this. Sentinel Pillars, we've had them for weeks. Had them for no weeks? Chance. No chance. <laughs> fun. The event's only been going for, what, a week and a bit, so weeks is a little bit of an over-exaggeration. But this is all great, isn't it? It's like the banter you have before, like, a wrestling match or a boxing match. You know? I'm proper enjoying this. It's, it's added a new dimension of play to No Man's Sky. And I'm hoping if you haven't been included in this one or you didn't jump in because you didn't really know what it was about, one probably a good thing because we've been using the people that have joined this one as almost guinea pigs and the rules have been rather fluid and they've kind of been brit bit agile they've evolved as we've gone along and i think we've got it to a point now that when we do this a second time around we can do it properly and there'll be less issues and less sort of like gray areas of of what's what and, and so forth and so on so yeah stay tuned for future news of this event this event's not over by a long chalk yet we're going to be entering into pvp from monday onwards and um, I can imagine it's going to be fun. There's going to be a few more videos just like this one. And I like the camaraderie we're here. I like, I've, I've enjoyed talking to people that I wouldn't normally talk to out there inside of the verse. And hearing just how much I enjoyed this event. It's really fired me up to do another one. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Cataplexus dragon hog. Cataplexus dragon hog. Cataplexus, Cataplexus dragon hog. Thanks for your comments and all of your support. I like the videos you have shared on your own channel. Thank you from Captain Steve. Thank you very much. Cataplexus dragon hog.